Right. Hello everyone, my name is Devin and I'm with Brilliant Horizons and I'm going to create a video today for you guys to show off a property we have for sale. It's 2.68 acres in Costilla, Colorado and this is in the San Juan City inside of the community a Wild Horse Mesa. So I'm making these videos because when I look online and I see plots of land for sale they're all very similar. So I'll show you a plot map um, so you know the dimensions of the lot you're going to buy and then a couple pictures on the ground in the surrounding area and a brief description and that's kind of all you get. You don't know really what you're getting into until you do uh, some research on your own. So I'm trying to provide this video uh, for the content that hopefully will give you more information on the front end to know whether or not this is the right property for you. So without further ado, um, I'll show you where it is. So to get our bearings straight, this is Colorado, and here's the border of Colorado. Durango City, Colorado Springs, Alamosa, and this property is right here on this reservoir. It's actually about 15 minutes south of this little town, San Luis. So as we zoom into this reservoir here, this is where the, this is where the property is actually at. There's this little community right here, which is actually a couple hundred feet up on this this mesa, which is why they call it they call it that. Sanchez Reservoir does have fishing in it. There's three or four, at least three or four different types of fish inside of there. People come here and they fish, and you can check online Sanchez Reservoir, and they'll show you pictures of what people have caught before. So Fremont Drive is where the property is actually on. It's right at this bend right here. It's 2.6 acres and it's kind of pie shaped. I'll show you. I'll show you right here. Let's actually, let's pull it up now. There it is. 2.68 acres, nice and wide. Uh, that's why I like it compared to the rest of these properties. As you can see, they're pretty thin and long, which is obviously big enough to, to build a house, but this wide area right here kind of gives you more room to be creative and you know, maybe build a house and, and have some animals or grow some fruits and vegetables out here, have a farm or build a garage and park your boat and toys, more area. Here, here's another plot map. So there's the property. As you can see, a lot of these are just kind of skinny and long and this one's nice and nice and wide, which is uh, one of my favorite things about it. All right. So let's get let's get an aerial view on this so you kind of get a better idea as to what we're looking at here. Again, right at this bend is where your 2.68 acres is. If you drive down Fremont Drive just a little bit, come down this road and drive um, Mountain View Trail down, you can zigzag down here right to the reservoir. People go boating out here. You can fish. I don't know if you guys have jet skis, but that would be really awesome. So yeah, looks like tons of fun right here. You can also drive up this road. There's a road over this dam right here, which leads you into this mountain range, which looks gorgeous from the ground, by the way. But you can come up in all these mountains right here and Ride your mountain bike around, um, motocross, go ATV in, all kinds of fun stuff on, along these mountains right in here. And I'll show you, this is Google Earth Pro right here, and this is kind of a, a 3D mapping of it, but I like this because it kind of provides perspective for mountains, because you can't really get that in, uh, there you go just in an aerial view of a map. So there's the mountain range right there. And uh, this reservoir right here. So your your property would be, come up Fremont Drive, and it's right at this bend, right? So you got 2.68 acres right here. You got the beautiful mountains behind you. Sanchez Reservoir. And yeah, I bet there's all kinds of fun exploring out there in the mountains. Kind of sweep around here, see what else we can see. To the north of us, um, kind of hard to see from here, but out here 
is uh, Blanca Peak, 14,000 feet. It's one of the highest peaks in Colorado, actually, believe it or not. There's lots of farming up here. So this is this is why they call it this is why they call it Wild Horse Mesa. You can see that this land up here is actually quite a bit higher than the rest of the valley. So you sit up on this higher land and then you can peer off and see, you know, a lot of the other flat land around you. So you're definitely sitting on top of this little this little area right here. Very cool. See what else I got for pictures. Okay, so here's some pictures taken uh, in the area. Some mountain ranges. Those are the snow-capped peaks over there. Dirt road. Uh, it's smooth dirt roads out here. Very drivable. Easy access to the property. This is pretty cool. This website I found, so here is that little dot right there is the property. This is um, a map of, of light. So as you live closer to the city, it gets brighter and brighter, uh, which translates into seeing less stars. So the further away from these heavily lighted cities you get, the more and more stars you can see. And shown right here, I mean, you're going to see every star in the sky from this property if you want to go camping out here or build a getaway home or a permanent residence. I mean, you're just going to see the stars, and that's awesome. It's really, really cool. So let's get into some of the specifics here. Um, got GPS coordinates right here. You can pause it and... And, and look it up and see how to get directions. It's easy to get to the property from any of the major cities around. There is no HOA or POA, fortunately, so the only obligation you'll have is $125 a year for property taxes. So that's very reasonable. Water, you'll have to build a well on the property. There are electric power lines nearby, so um, you could get electricity out to the property and you'd be on septic for your sewer system. Um, I do offer seller financing, $500 down, $185 a month for 60 months. Um, or you can uh, just pay $9,500 and you get about a 20% discount on that. So I will do discounted for cash offers. Now, for the seller financing, I, I write flexible terms here because um, if you make a larger down payment, I'll actually lower the purchase price of the property for you. So if you put, basically, what I'm going to do for this one, every $1,000 you put down, I'm going to take $200 off the selling price. So if you put $3,000 down, then you'd be at six. Thousand five hundred, and then I'll take an extra six hundred dollars off. So you'd be at, so you'd be basically financing five thousand nine hundred, and then uh, we can work out the months, and uh, in terms. But yeah, this property, gorgeous, I love it. Right there. Let me know if you're interested. Um, write in the comments if this video was helpful for you. Write in the comments if you think that. We're missing something and there's more content I can provide. If you have any questions, you can also email me at brillianthorizonsllc at gmail.com or go to our Facebook page, Facebook slash Brilliant Horizons. All right. Thanks very much.